fine there. I'm fine there. All I want you to know is, just give me a chance. You know, we got 10 months to go, and they've already announced the winners. Mm -hmm. My God, I... You have the responsibility as Iowans. As Mern said, you're the first in the nation. And so bring your candidates and test them and scrutinize them and look in their eyes. I believe I'm the best qualified. I have the most experience. I have international experience as a negotiator. I just got back from North Korea a week ago. A mission with a White House, because I think when an American president is moving in the right direction, and what do we do in North Korea? We brought back the remains of six Americans that died in the Korean War. We did that. We also are moving North Korea towards eliminating nuclear weapons. Now, uh, there's a complication with some frozen assets, but I believe any day now they're going to announce that they're going to find ways for the Yongbyon nuclear reactor to shut it down. I've negotiated in Sudan. I've negotiated in North Korea, in Iraq, in Cuba. President Clinton used to say, bad people like Richardson, so we'll send them there. <laughs> That's supposed to be funny. <laughs> so I believe that uh, I'm the best experience. I'm a governor. I have to manage a state. i got to balance budgets. Uh, I've been a secretary of energy. I know how to make us energy independent. I manage 110,000 employees. All I'm saying is, just give us a chance. I'm a Westerner, too. You know, we need candidates that can win in Iowa in New Mexico, not just in, in Los Angeles, in Boston. I mean, we got to have a broad base of support. And I know there are a lot of, uh, this is a center where a lot of you uh, come here and it's a recreation center and, and, and you appreciate uh, the strength of this country. I also want you to know that I'm optimistic. I think it, we can resolve these problems. I believe we need to bring this country together. You know, apart from being Democrats or Republicans, I think I know where many of you are. We need somebody that can unite this country. Uh, we're divided over immigration. We're divided over this war in Iraq, which is a mess. Uh, you know, rural, urban. Uh, we got to do better to, 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 to get the body politic. The Congress has basically become dysfunctional. I mean, they, they do very little. Uh, they don't act on immigration, on the deficit, on health care and education. You know, I want them to do well. And I want the president. How much time do you, want, do you spend in Iowa if you want our votes? <laughs> how much time will you really spend? I will be here forever. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me tell you this. I am here. Uh, I I've, I've been a candidate for two months, and I think this is my sixth trip here, fifth trip. I'm going to spend a lot of time here. I want your votes. I'm not just going to drop in and do a rally in a gym and then leave. I am here for two days on this visit. I am starting my television advertising. You know when? Monday. I want you to get to know me. I, I'm going door to door. Well, door to door is a little difficult. I just drove up from Des Moines. There aren't too many doors as we drove up. <laughs> but I'm going town to town, house party to house party. Uh, I'm a grassroots candidate. I don't know if you know this, I hold the world's handshaking record. <laughs> 13,000 in an eight hour period at the New Mexico State Fair. My point is that I am ready for you to scrutinize me, my positions. Uh, this is how I campaign. We're going to Cedar, uh, Cedar uh, oh, oh, Falls. Falls. <laughs> Cedar Rapids, right? <laughs> Cedar Falls, Des Moines. I'm going to the baseball game tonight to shake hands. You guys, the Iowa, uh, Cubs are playing the Albuquerque Isotopes. You're going to lose tonight, by the way. <laughs> but I will be here, and I will... Uh, how about some questions? I... I, I, um, I'm very sorry. Um, I remember, I, I watched about Pete Finn the night, the day he came after the blizzard that was really good after I-80 was closed for 400 miles. You were here, and I thought it was hilarious. But you said then, um, well, you guys have a lot of wind, right? And uh, I was wondering about, we have a wind turbine company, and Rapid is well, my state, we've become, I believe, the clean energy state. We have tax incentives. The state invests in solar, wind, biomass. If a company comes into New Mexico, I think this is a way that you promote jobs and economic development. If a company pays over the prevailing wage, we give them a tax credit. I've cut taxes in New Mexico for the middle class. In fact, for everybody. But we pay for those uh, tax cuts, and we 
incentivize the middle class. Uh, I think the Democratic Party should also be the party of R&D, of cancer research, of stem cell research, of Alzheimer's. Uh, we should be the party that also deals with autism. I know uh, this is becoming a huge problem in this country. We should be the party of economic growth. And, and, and I believe it's critically important that renewable energy, here's what I see about Iowa. You've got biofuels, you've got ethanol. You've led internationally helping countries uh, with Norman Borlaug and uh, the Green Revolution. I see Iowa as being a centerpiece of a lot of economic growth. Now, I also want to tell you something. I don't have all the answers, okay? If you ask me a question I don't know the answer, I'll tell you. I'm learning. I'm learning about this country. I'm learning about Iowa. So if, I'm, if you don't see perfection, I said I'm not a rock star, but close. <laughs> I'm learning. So who, who else? But Dr. Brand, uh, we're trying to cover the argument that if they can be a land will take over. Well, here's what I would do. It's already a civil war. It's already sectarian violence. Our troops are at risk. Iraqi people are at risk. This policy.